With the success of the Blackhawks and the U.S. Olympic team, hockey has become more popular than ever. The sport has also seen a huge influx in female athletes. The Zach sisters have been making a name for themselves at the Glacier Ice Arena in Vernon Hills. And Kelly Krell tells us how the youngest aspires to be the first to play in the NHL. Try to get it up in the air. That's what Bobby likes. Forget gender, size, or even age. When you're on the ice, Ali Zach will tell you there's only one thing that matters. The toughness. Like, it's fun to see all those boys, like, try to handle me. From a young age, she has been competitive. And no matter what, she wants to win. And even if it's getting to be first in line to go to the water fountain in school, she had to be first. It's that tenacity combined with great skills that landed the 12-year-old defender from Lake Zurich on the Ice Dogs Pee Wee team, a squad comprised of mostly 11- and 12-year-old boys. It's nothing different. Uh, it's just just one girl, and she, she just fits in with everyone else. She's, she's a really good player. She's a great defenseman. She's a really aggressive player. Uh, she is a sweetheart. Um, she loves to compete. I just work as hard as they do, and I try to get the puck around them, and it's we just collide sometimes. That's it. Oh, no, she's tough. She's just like another guy out there. Allie has been playing hockey and proving she can compete with the boys for nine years now. But next year, she'll move to Bantam level where checking is allowed. It was at this point that her sister Maddie decided she would transition and play with the girls. But having seen her sister go through that experience and knowing she'll have her in her corner, Allie is more determined than ever to continue chasing after her dreams. It's scary at sometimes because like kids are like six foot tall at my age already, and it's like scary to see all those kids coming at you. But you just have the toughness and all to get through it. You still are a girl playing a boy sport, and there will be some guys who try to go out and hurt you. And I've been on my fair share of guys just trying to go out and hurt me she'll do great I think she'll do better than I will than I would have well that I did because I was there I learned how to do it and I can give her the support and the guidance to be great at it checking was tough to watch you know she's you know the boys were getting big and she's not super tall so you know, it was, it was hard to watch. There's a lot of contact that goes on, and the higher level you go, uh, really the referees allow that contact to be uh, more and more the higher levels you get. She will have absolutely no problem. She's, she loves that part of the game. The physicality of the game is just another challenge Allie will face, but she and her sister are still hoping just their presence and path will encourage younger female athletes to pursue hockey. I'm very proud of how they have, you know, worked hard to be where they're at, and, <laughs> and you know, it's just, we're just doing the best we can. To get a chance to be able to coach Allie, and both Kim, uh, Kim and Tony have done so much for our association, uh, the honor to be able to coach her, knowing her aspirations are at the highest level, feels good. It's definitely fun because you can set like different views for how guys see girls and to me that's a very big thing is to stop seeing girls as just girls and to more as an equal, especially if you're a female athlete you want to be seen as an equal. You'll just get tougher along the way and that's all you need to do, just gain the skills and you'll be fine.